welcome to our channel at We Are a Campo. This is us today. Today we're teaching our children a lesson. So stick around and make sure you watch till the end, okay? So before that, of course, we'll start with a word of prayer and just dedicate this day to the Lord. It is morning and we're just walking up, literally, okay? So bless the Lord. Oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. I'll bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name, hallelujah. Father, we worship you this morning. We lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. We say you are Lord and King. We pray that you bless us today. We also you, uh, pray that you bless everyone who's watching this, Lord, them, their families, wherever they are, the work of their hands. May you keep them from all evil. And now, as we teach our children some lessons, we pray that your spirit may also teach them in the way of righteousness. For your name's sake, this we have prayed and believed. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. So yesterday we had a, something in our house. First of all, before that, Tehila, this song that we sang is from Psalms 103. What does it say? Oh, some bless the, the Lord, all oh my soul, with, with all within in me, and bless His holy name. Psalms what? Psalms 103. Good job. What about Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1? Okay, children obey their parents in the Lord for, for this is right. Ephesians 6 1, good job, for this is right, it ends right there. For this is right. And then, uh, what about, uh, oh, Zuriel, Zuriel, Genesis 1 1. Genesis 1 1. <laughs> and, and for the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, Taylor, last one. Romans 3, 23. Yeah. Romans 3, 23. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. So all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So you guys, yesterday you created big sin here in this house. So we had them wasting their dinner, okay? You wasted your food, so I want to teach them a very good lesson of no wasting food in this house. We are going to be good stewards of the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 All right, so I heard the report that Zuriel and Tehila uh, wasted their food. Uh, we found the dinner on the floor. And before that, their lunch was also uh, not touched. They did not finish their lunch. But now finished. You finished what? My lunch at the other evening yesterday. Okay, so, but what, can you tell us what happened? How did your food end up on the floor? What happened? Is real? Okay, is real first, then you, next. What happened? Mom came to for but Tandy came and pour, and poured their food. So you did not pour it, it was Tandy who came and poured your food? You poured Taylor's food. Is poured Taylor's say. food. And what happened? How did the food end up on the floor? My my sister came and poured it. Uh, I was I was eating. I wanted her to just to to just eat it, but she just came when I was in when I was in the, when I was going to drink. All right. So the she two of them it. clearly did not like to eat their uh, healthy dinner uh, mm -hmm. and vegetables. So they ignored their lunch first of all, and then the dinner. We found it just everywhere on the floor wasting so we can't allow that uh, them to continue because it was not yummy sausage or all of those unhealthy delicious food 
So they have to learn that food is valuable. A lot of children are starving in many places. A lot of people don't have food. So when we have food, we need to value it, be thankful to God about it, and eat it and not waste it. So today, we're going to put these two on a fast. We're fasting! Yay! We're not going to eat. <laughs> no eating in this house today! Yay. How do you feel about how do you feel about that? No eating. Hmm? You'll stay hungry. So that you will value food when you see it. But mommy said we we'll eat at dinner. For dinner. Okay. We'll at eat dinner. dinner. Yeah, at dinner you eat. Okay, so at right least now, we will no eating because people are wasting food. So we're going to fast. And in that fasting, we're going to pray and learn our scripture and be good stewards. I was learning my verse and you said you're going to. Well, Yes, you will eat at dinner. You will eat. You will eat. For sure you will eat. And eventually you will eat. But right now you're going to know the importance of food. You're going to know the importance of having food in front of your table and being able to eat it and not wasting it or pouring it on the floor. Especially when it is healthy food. When it is junk food, you're very good to finish your food. You can finish all the fried chicken. You can finish all your chips. But when it comes to some ugali, sweet potatoes and yams, you're always throwing your food on the floor. So now, first of all, this whole week we're going to eat nothing but healthy food and boiled food, no more oil in this house. And secondly, you're going to fast, okay? You're going to fast until you can appreciate the food in front of you. We're going to be good stewards, okay? And usually, so real, what do you have to say? You have to learn this. This is a principle yeah, in I life. Eat. I see grown ups I'll even eat. You will eat your food. You will eat from now on. No, but you first have to be hungry, so you know what it means to be hungry. I'm hungry. I'm not Are even hungry? eating anything for, for breakfast. I'm not even eating bread or or your fruits. Yeah, you, you've not eaten anything because you're fasting. You're fasting. I need you to be hungry. Because of what you did last night. Yes. Mm -hmm. You you allowed your food to be thrown all yes. over. And it's repetitive. You've been doing it the whole week. You've Every been time your food and so th th this is how we shall move forward. Okay, You're, we're going to have some partial fasting in this house till the evening. You're going to fast until the evening. Yeah. It's real. Can you stay hungry until evening? Yes. No. Oh. Wow. <laughs> You're taking this better. He's taking this better. <laughs> okay. Taylor, can you fast till evening? No. Okay, anyway guys, so stick around to see how this will go and we hope they will be able to learn a lesson. I've been noticing that with this generation, children's generation, they, they waste a lot of food and lessons have to be taught because God has not given us so that we may rest. Amen. 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 <laughs> Do you know when Jesus was feeding the people, there was no food? Mm -hmm. So his disciples asked him, Jesus, Master, can you just send all of these people following you back to their homes? But Jesus felt sorry for them and did not want to send them when they were hungry because he was worried that they were going to faint or fall down along the way. So Jesus said, no, these people have been with me for all this time, I'm not going to send them away. What do you have there? Ah, the disciples said, But Jesus, even if you have a lot of money, you can't possibly feed all these guys because there were thousands upon thousands. You can't count them. There were so many. 5,000 Five thousand and children and women. Yes. Not even count. Wow. So Jesus said, What do you have? And they said, We don't have anything here except this boy. Right? With the five loaves of bread and two fish. And Jesus said, just bring it over. And then he prayed and gave thanks to the Lord. And a miracle happened. That bread and fish was able to feed all of them. Jesus said, make them all sit down and we'll distribute it to each one. And people ate until they were full. But then there was so much left. There were 12 baskets left. And you know what Jesus said? He didn't tell them, okay, just throw those extra. Nobody's eating it. Just throw it away. No. He said, gather up the fragments that nothing be lost. So Jesus did not want to lose any of those food 
that came from God. You see, every time we receive food from God, we treat it as a blessing. Okay? Do you understand, Zriel? Tihila? What should we do? We eat our food. And we don't? Food. Yes, because it's what? Because it's food. It's a blessing from God. Alright? Okay, Zriel, what have you learned? My um, princess, but what he said from, from the beginning. No, from the story. From what the should story. we do? What have you learned? We should not do what? He is in the What? He is the moon. To say the Genesis. Oh, the verse. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Okay, say it first. Then you tell us what you like. Okay, go to tell us Genesis 1 1. Go. Say Genesis. Genesis 1 1. He created the heaven and the earth. All right. Thank you for that, Zuria. Okay, now what did you learn in the story I just said? That we should not? It's not for food. In the trash or in the field. Yes. Why? Because God blessed us mm -hmm. with food. Yes. yes. And that the people don't have food. Yes. Mm -hmm. A lot of children are hungry. That's why it's good to share to others who don't mm -hmm. have. But what you have, you don't throw it. Mm -hmm. All right? How about you, Taylor? Why did you learn? Well, not about the lesson that no fried food on the floor or the or the or the or in the trash um um uh, in the, because it's a blessing from god amen yeah. thank you good job yeah. thank you you want to pray for all those who don't have food yes okay you pray father lord you thank for that for those who doesn't have food i will bless them with food in jesus name amen amen, amen. amen. do you want to thank god for the food we have yes okay, okay. okay. You thank god Thank you for 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 for, for God bless us with food. We just just name Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I have a surprise for you. Guess what's the surprise?